So hi, my name is Farid. I am a VFX artist, expertise in Houdini, uh, but we are going to talk about much move. So in today's tutorial, we'll be diving into an essential part of the visual uh, effect pipeline. And um, it want to talk about the efficient, uh, efficiently work with match move data and the importance of the color management that we are going to involve also uh, using the SS workflow, which is, uh, it's very important. So let's break down step by step, uh, starting with the, the match move process and then exploring why ISS is critical in, man in maintaining a uh, consistency color across the entire production. I mean, um, import from into the CG integration. So for the match move, we are going to use um, we start uh, smaller uh, using uh, the, the mesh move capability that uh, exists in inside blender then we go to let uh, we see um, how this is done in nuke and uh, for people who are using nuke and uh, then we jump in the third and the last uh, but not least um, the uh, we're going to see the procedure in inside a specialized software like uh, uh, most common one is sentize so we're going to use sentize uh, but before we have to uh, in general talk about the uh, we're going to over uh, uh, overfly the um, the uh, the workflow and uh, the integration from 3d data with the live action so we are dealing with the importing the image how to export the image sequence which is very important you know the the match move process is uh, uh, before the match movie process uh, is import the image into like an image sequence and not the video uh, some are using a video footage directly but you know it's a uh, it's uh, safer to use the, um, the image sequence and also because uh, you have to bring it back into the 3d software so that you can uh, put it in the back as a back plate and it's uh, very efficient when it's uh, an image sequence and not a video and some 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 3d software don't read uh, video footage so codec like mp4 or move something so <coughs> then uh, we are going to talk about the importance of 2d tracking and uh, you know the, the camera solve and all the refining this uh defining the the solve and everything that you have you need to to get in a uh, very accurate um, um, uh, uh, move camera from the 3d software from the match move software then uh we see how to export the data back to uh, you know to uh, houdini and using an fbx or alembic and i want to talk about the difference between the fbx and uh, alembic and um, some uh, if, you know in synthize for example you have a bunch of uh, export option uh, even in uh, exported in nuke as a script you uh, as an uh, exported to maya as an ascii file and and so on so very very uh, um, very wide range of export possibility inside the uh, uh, synthize which makes the uh, the uh, the job easier <laughs> So you, we import this into Houdini, of course, uh, to match the motion and ensure your uh, CG element is integrated perfectly with the uh, live action footage. But before, I, I want to stop a uh, second and talk about the SS workflow, because everybody will tell you that you just have to do a to convert these images into JPEG or PNG file and bring it into it's true when the footage you you are shooting is a is an you know it's an sRGB uh, image uh, in, in color space an sRGB color space it, this means this um, that the color are altered and there is no information in the black or in the white point so known as the shadow and the highlight so the highlight are um, for example are uh, clipped and the shadow are crushed so there is no information there because this is what mostly the JPEG image do uh, if you want to save file uh, space um, uh, on, on the hard disk so it will crush the you know you cut the 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 the, the, um, the information so that uh, the file will be smaller but uh, another side it will make the the file um, uh, smaller and uh, the information the file will carry uh, uh, we don't we don't carry so much uh, the is known as dynamic range will be very 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 narrow and uh, therefore you uh, you lose the data in uh, in mostly in the in the shadow and you can get 
uh, accurate truck. And this is w this is very important, uh, you know. And um, some people say this. And some people say, you know, if you shoot the footage in RAW, B RAW, or ROG, you can you can preserve it and and export it as is. Um, uh, and the best way is using SS and uh, you know the SS uh, not for the tracking data is uh, when you prepare the data for the tracking you need uh, every information every detail on the footage so so plus preserving the the data is uh, uh, is uh, not altering the the curve the l l which known as characteristic uh, curve I want to show you in a minute what this means uh, this means there is no manipulation in the gamut or in the um, or in the gamma.